All right, well, we're working on bending an offset in three inch EMT conduit with the hydraulic bender. And Jim is uh, getting ready to mark it out once we figure out the calculations for what it is we're doing. And what we're doing here is we're bending an offset, controlling the start of the first bend. So the obstruction would say would be here. And so we go into the manual and you can see offsets working past an obstruction and it says length minus X and L1. And so we can find that information when we go to the tables for the three inch EMT in the manual, the three inch EMT, it gives us a value for X, which is 5.77. When we go on to the bender and we look for the value of X on the connecting bar, it says five and nine sixteenths. So the, the values are close, but they're not exact. The three inch EMT, when we look at it, we're gonna use 30 degree bends. And so we're gonna go look for L1, 30 degree bends with a 15 inch offset coming down here to find the value, which was 29.8. So let's look at the manual online. All right, so we're looking at the manual online here on the board for bending three inch EMT with the hydraulic bender. And we've gone into the manual and we've identified the bend that we want to do. Working past an obstruction, so the obstruction was here and we've got it set up at, at 30 inches to this first bend. And so what it indicates is that we've got the length, which would be 30 inches out there, we'll do the calculation, and you got length minus X. So we need to find the value of X. You can find it on the connecting bar on the bender itself, which when we looked at the chart, it said it was like five and nine sixteenths or we can find it in the chart on there and we also need to find L1. So we're going through the chart here and we're looking. Here, notice on the top here it says dimension, angle, 10 inches, 12 inches, 15 inch offset. And so it's the third column of numbers or the fourth column. And so here for three inch EMT, we're looking for the 30 degrees and we're finding L1 at 29.8. See if we can use this here. 29.8 on that L1. And we need to find X. And on X on the 3 inch EMT was 5.77, which is about 5 and 3 quarters, 5 and 9 sixteenths, like this on the connecting bar. So we've got our values for X, length minus X, 5.77, or 5 and 9 sixteenths, 5 and 3 quarters. And we've got a value for L1 for our next bending mark at 29.8. And if you remember, the distance multiplier for a 30 degree bend was two, and our offset is 15 inches. So 15 times two is 30, and 30, so 29.8 makes sense. It's so close to 30, we might as well call it 30. So let's go up now and we're gonna look for the ram travel that's gonna be required for a 30 degree bend. So here we go, ram travel. Well, it looks like our uh, highlight here, so we'll get rid of that. And we're going to be looking at the ram travel for degrees of bend, 30 degrees, and we're doing the three inch EMT conduit. So the oops, 30 degrees, three inch, we're looking at six and five sixteenths. So that's how much ram travel we'll need on the hydraulic bender when we get ready to bend that to, and then we we'll use a protractor as well just to double check and make sure that we're close to 30 degrees. Okay, so we're bending a piece of three inch EMT conduit with a hydraulic bender, and we wanna put a 15 inch offset in this conduit. And it's gonna be 30 inches from where the coupling's at to where the end of the obstruction's at, the obstruction being here. So we've got a length of 30 inches for a 15 inch offset, and it says in the manual, length minus X. So the length is 30 inches, and X we figured out from the side of the connecting bar was five and nine sixteenths, or the manual said 5.77, so we call it five and three quarters. I like simplified math. I'm gonna use five and three quarters. 
30 minus 5 and 3 quarters equals 24 and a quarter inches. So our first mark, Jim, will be at 24 and a quarter inches. Then in the manual it says from that point, bending mark 1 to bending mark 2, we're going to take a value of L1. And we found that value in the manual online to be 29.8, or close enough you can call it 30. Why not? The distance multiplier for a 30 degree bend is 2 when we're doing hand bending and also with this bender. So let's call it 30. 29.8, a little bit of extra isn't going to hurt anything. It's going to help us get over the top of the obstruction. So 30 inches added to the 24 and a quarter equals 54 and a quarter inches. So our second mark, Jim, will be at 54 and a quarter inches. Okay, so we're bending three inch EMT conduit with the hydraulic bender and Jim placed the marks on there and so we got the conduit in the fall of bar and we got the shoe lined up so he's ready to put the saddle on. We want to make sure that the part of the saddle that's extended out, this side's flat, this side's sticking out. We want to make sure this part's facing forward and it's lined up, the line is lined up with the face of that and we'll pull that back. Okay, one of the things that we want to make sure of is that the side of the shoe is lining up with the groove in the follow bar so that way we don't pinch it and scar it and whatnot. And so we'll pull the follow bar back a little bit so that way the shoe will be able to come back and you'll be able to get the saddle in easier. There you go. And so we should be able to hopefully get the pin in. There we go. And we want to make sure that the line on the conduit is lined up with the front of the... Oh, right there. Okay, now we want to have the follow bar, the face of the follow bar, up against the back of the saddle. Okay, so we got that. We're lined up still with the line. Uh, we probably need to come my way just a little bit. Right there. Okay. Levers down on the hydraulic pump. I'm going to put some pressure on the shoe. There we go. Just to hold it so that way it's firmly in place. Double check. Now, the ram travel, when we looked at the sheet online, was 6 and 5 sixteenths. And so we're going to set the rubber on here to 6 and 5 sixteenths for a 30 degree bend. 6 and 5 sixteenths? Yeah, I'm guessing on the 5 sixteenths, but it's yeah. close. Okay, so we're about to 4 sixteenths is a quarter, so you got it about a half. I'm below a half a little and bit. And we've got our protractor here as well, so that way we can put it on there and we can see if we get close to, to 30 with the ram travel, and then we can double check it with this as well. So I'll give you that. Let's see where we're at right now. We at zero? Okay. Okay, it's going to start bending. So five, five and a quarter. We are at 20. So let's continue. We're at 20 degrees. We're at 20, yep. Thirty, twenty-nine, thirty, and thirty-one. Okay, now we're gonna have to allow for spring back. And looking at this, it's at about six and a half. So we could go down. It's close. The ram travel indicator is somewhat uh, 
But our protractor is more dead on. So For sure. you probably definitely want to use a protractor. So let's put it at about 32. The main thing with the ramp travel is that you do both bends exactly the same with that, if you're using that. If you have this, you don't really need to worry about this. Okay, so we're at 32? 31. Let me go just bump it just a little bit more. 32. Okay, so let's release pressure just enough to relax it to check and see if we wind up at 30. Okay, what do you got? 31. <sighs> That's all right. Okay. I don't think that we're All right, well, let's go ahead and unload it. And we'll uh, bend the other one the same amount of degrees so that way we've got a nice parallel bend. the follow bar make it a little bit easier and then you're going to be able to get those lined up I am pretty good there okay, I'm going to put some pressure on the shoe make sure that it goes into the follow bar okay bring the follow bar forward just a little okay let me got it okay so we're ready to bend we're at go. pressure okay check and see if this is zero we got this other side at zero that is zero perfect got it on zero yep. this other side is zero as well yes sir all right we're running parallel so we'll release pressure and we can unload it and and if you grab the tape measure there Jim And let's take a measurement from the floor to the bottom of the conduit. Wow, 15. 15, dead on? Yes, sir. How about that, huh? Okay, so we were bending three inch EMT conduit with the hydraulic bender. And when we bent the last one, we had a 15 inch offset. But what do we do if we've got a 13 inch offset? Well, the manual has uh, values for 10 inches, 12 inches, 15 inches, 18 inches, 24 inches for the offsets. Well, we need to figure out what the measurement would be, the value for 13. And so for 12 inches, L1 is, for 30 degree bend, L1 is 23.8 which is almost 24, 12 times two is 24. So I'm figuring out our values are gonna be, and this, is, this was 29.8 on the chart, which is almost 30. And so what we need to do is we need to figure out the difference between these. So we got six inches difference between these. So what we could do is there'd be, if this was 13 and this was 14 inches, then we would know that if we divided one, two, three, there's three divisions, so there'd be two inches between each one of those. So for 13 inches, it's gonna be 25.8, and then for 14 inches, it would be 27.8, and then for 15 inches was 29.8. So we know that the value for L1 here for 13 inches is gonna be 
26 inches or 25.8. So we need to add 26 to that value, which would be 50 and a quarter. So 50 and a quarter. So determining the amount of increments that you've got in there, if that was 13 and a half inches, then we would divide that 12 and a half. 13 and a half, 14 and a half, we would actually divide that by one, two, three, four, five, six, six, so we'd add one inch. So if it was 13 and a half, well then it would be 25.8 plus another inch, 26.8, which is right in between the two. 13 to 14, 13 and a half would be 27 or 26.8. So we need to do the math if we're gonna divide these increments up between 12 and 15 or 15 and 18 or 10 and 12, you would divide it by two or four depending on the amount of increments that you've got.